let's go ahead and talk some NFL. Let's talk NFL. I'm uh, I'm excited about all these different moves. We've had, I wouldn't say blockbuster moves, we've had one blockbuster and then some really, really big stuff, right? So we'll start off with the Russell Wilson trade. And Russell Wilson is being traded to the Broncos, or has been traded to the Broncos. Uh, the details on it, uh, he agreed to waive his no-trade provision, but it is two first-round picks, two second-round picks, and... Da, 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 da. Uh, Drew Locke, a defensive tackle, and I cannot find the guy's name. No uh, offense is the no offense is the tight end, but the uh, they've got a defensive lineman in there as well. And oh, Shelby Harris, Shelby Harris. There we go. So two first round picks, two second round picks, a twenty twenty two fifth round selection, and uh, the Seahawks are going to give up Wilson and a fourth round pick. Now, I, everybody there, there's I say everybody. There are a lot of people in the media, that seem to believe that the Seahawks won this trade. They think that Russell Wilson is aging because he's 33 years old, et cetera, et cetera. I think this is pretty easy to figure out. If you get the dominant quarterback, if you get your franchise quarterback, I think you won the trade, regardless of what you nope. had to give up for it, right? Nobody in the history of football has ever traded away or lost in free agency a Starting dominant quarterback like this, a, 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 let's call him just a premier quarterback, okay? And won the trade or won the deal. No, that's never happened. No one has ever overpaid for a quarterback and really ever been upset about that. So this is just what it is. Like if you, well, I should say, have ever overpaid for a premier quarterback, like the, the cost of, of paying for, you know, never, never got so, so heavy that it wasn't worth it. Right. No, I, th I think you're right. Uh, I will. I will tell you this: there are rumors abound that the Seahawks have been calling the Texans to see what the status is on Deshaun Watson. Yep. And I, I could totally see that. Now, I mean, obviously, yep. there's been a lot of teams that have called around for Deshaun, but uh, but that one would make sense. I mean, you get him up to Seattle, kind of get him out of the limelight a little bit, which is what Russell Wilson has done. The NFL is such a big sport. He's always, whoever is up there is always going to be in the limelight anyway. But my, my biggest issue with all these talking heads, these media guys, I, I, want, I want to get back on the Wilson part, okay? Yeah, go ahead. All, all, all these people that talk about this sport are talking about it loose because all of them look at last year. That these people look six inches in front of their face and they just assume they know everything about somebody because of because of what happened four months ago, okay? Like, like I usually don't like giving the excuse of, a, of an injury to a player as to why they struggle. But when you're a quarterback and you injure and you're having surgery on a finger on your throwing hand, I, I, think, I think that's probably more important than somebody who's struggling with a hamstring problem or an ankle injury or a shoulder, you know, injury on their off, off arm. Like, like, I think that's probably more – more important to the, the the ability for them to do their job and do it well. Yeah, I tend to agree. I tend so, to agree. So people just want to look at last year's numbers, last year's numbers only, and, and then that's all they want to hold on to and, and, and stand behind. And I just think that's just lazy. It's just really, really lazy. We, yeah. We've got a, a lot of a, a lot of resume from Russell Wilson to say he's, he's one of the top ten quarterbacks in the country, and I don't think it's close. Um, I, well, and, I think and he to say, in there pretty easily. To say that, that he's, uh, he's... He's really good. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely good. Uh, to say that he's aging when he's 33 years old... We, Aaron Rodgers just won back-to-back -back MVPs. That's just so stupid. And he's 38 years old. I had an argument on Twitter yesterday with morons who think that, that Matt Stafford and Russell Wilson are equal because they're the same age, and they both miss you know, about the same amount of games in their career. One guy plays through injuries all the time. Man, Stafford is a tough son of a bitch. I'm not arguing that at all. But that guy is frail. That guy has back problems, neck problems, arm problems. He has lots of things. He plays through them. That's fine. At his best, he's never been close to Russell Wilson. Never been close to what Russell's been in. Yeah. He just yeah, no, you're, you're right. You're right. He hadn't been close. Hadn't been close. Um, the other move that the Seahawks made is they cut Bobby Wagner. I don't know that I'm necessarily against. Still with me? Yeah. I'm, I'm, 
Oh, I'd, I'd already moved into Bobby Wagner. So <laughs> I didn't even know you were gone. It ended on the on the end of a sentence. So, do you have more to talk okay. about with uh, with Russell? Nope, that's it. I just I just <laughs> wanted to talk about that. <laughs> and so, the other move that they made is they uh, they cut Bobby Wagner, who's kind of been the the leader of that defense for a little while. He was kind of the last remaining, you know, OG. I, you know, I'm not necessarily against uh, going ahead and cutting Bobby Wagner. He's he's getting a little older. Uh, his you know his productivity has gone down quite a bit. And if you're wanting to turn over that locker room, hey, get get rid of the leaders on both sides and reestablish a different kind of culture. Bring in guys to be leaders, etc. I'm not I'm not against that. I think Bobby Wagner can still be serviceable wherever he ends up going. Uh, I'm I'm not necessarily against that one. I do think it was not exactly smart to trade Russell Wilson. Uh, no, they did get a haul for him, but uh, but what are your thoughts on on cutting Bobby Wagner? So uh, yeah, well, you got to. I don't think he's worth the the money on his contract, and, and I know that sounds harsh and tough, but that's the business of the business. And um, I, you know, this is a guy that got hurt in a Cowboys game at one point in time. And when he was getting, like, laid on the field, flipped off his own sideline and his own, you know, team. Another time in Dallas, you know, literally, like, ran up to Jerry Jones on TV and was like, get me out of here. Like, come get me. So, just this obviously somebody who is not um, happy being there anyway. So, when you're not performing at, at, at the level of your contract and – you've expressed interest to not be there, I think this is the best for both parties to just not play. Now somebody else can sign him to whatever fair deal they believe he does. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm, was it Wagner that did all that? I thought it was somebody yeah, else. I think it was Wagner that did all that. Wow. Yeah, I guess I guess that would make sense. That's God, in my head, I thought that was somebody else. Uh, but no, it... Okay, so if it's somebody else, I I thought it was Wagner, and and I'm, well, either, I'm mistaken them. Either I'm way, sure yeah. Um, it, <laughs> I I'm trying to look it up right now, but I don't see anything about it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, exactly what I said before. I just think that, uh, you know, it, it's it's like getting upside down on a uh, on a used car. Right where it's like you, you got him, and then you know the contract maybe isn't worth uh, what the what the player is anymore, and and that's just what ends up happening. So that is uh, that is the way that it ends up going with the Seahawks. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.